well, look, we got a little game for you. Got some trivia. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. So we got one of your <laughs> biggest fans. He thinks he knows a little more about what's happening than what you know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna bring him on. Okay. Now All the right. winner of this game. All right. No, the loser, the loser of this game is going to do that good old Raj dance that you do on show. <laughs> okay. Are you down for I'm it? I'm down for it. All right, let's bring on Bam Air. Okay. Oh, hey, 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 what is it? Um, I believe that is Brave Boy. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. That's correct. All right. That's okay. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Come on, come on, come on, now. Wake up. Okay, what's this guy right here? All right. All right. To ensure she wouldn't tell Mama, little sister D would bribe you for what amount? Was it tip? <laughs> well, okay. Who got it? Uh, <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got you. Yeah, got you. Yeah, got you yeah, got a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, let, let's get a hair. Uh, I believe it's a quarter. <laughs> Okay, I got one. All right, all right, come on, okay, go. the hangout spot was often referred to as the soda shop. What was the real name of the diner? Yes, Ernest. <laughs> Rob's place. He got yeah. one. <laughs> uh, you want to be seen? Okay. Oh, oh, see, oh, oh, close oh, now. Yeah. All right, I got one more shot. Okay. All right, season two, episode fourteen. Sing the song that gives family song. On the gong show. Bubba bubble and brown sugar. Joe with a key. Bubba bubble and brown sugar key. Da 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 da. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, season one, episode eighteen. The tickets. When well, Mama got you two concert tickets, and because you couldn't pick between Rerun and Dwayne, you scalped the tickets in order to buy three tickets. Whose concert was? Oh, 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 Doobie Brothers, Doobie that's Brothers. right, taking me to the streets, uh, uh, Pull Black Water, and, um, um, and, 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 and uh, um, Dan Gary dropped the recording tape, that's right, Doobie Brothers, it was two parts, part one and part two, all right, all right, okay. well, that means I win, so I mean, all right, so, so you're going to get ready for that dance? <laughs> Come on, get up, brother, let me a little rusty, all right, all right, okay, okay, <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, we're going to have a special surprise for Ernest, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back to the Spiller Show, you guys. We're here with an exclusive interview with Ernest Thomas. Now, you have millions of fans. Some of our Spiller fans knew you were coming, and they have a few questions for you. Oh, All right. Well, okay. All right, and the first question... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is Kaja and Gigi from DC, and we want to know what's your favorite What's Happening episode? Okay. Favorite what happened? Favorite what's happening episode? Yeah. I would say the Doobie Brothers. The Doobie, Doobie Brothers. Brothers. Okay. okay. Yeah. That question lo- yeah. lost you the game, yeah. but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jason from Pittsburgh, California. First, I'd like to say I'm a big fan of what's happening and everybody hates Chris. But my question to you is, how did you come up with the Raj dance? <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> oh, how did I come up with the Raj dance? Uh, pure ego. Pure <laughs> ego because Fred was such a great dancer being part of the lockers and so in every show, you know, they have him dance, and I'm going, yeah, rerun, ooh, rerun, ooh, you can do it. Then Eagle say, you should have your own dance. <laughs> so I said, yeah, can Rods have a dance? They went, no, we don't see that at all. You know? <laughs> and I said, but they're like a little nerdy dance, because in his mind, he's the... So that's how it came about. And but didn't think it was gonna do anything. And man, it just took off. That's the infamous. There's a song yes. about it. You know, <laughs> the vinyls, the punk rock rock band. Mm-hmm. They have a song called Do the Rocks. Oh wow. Yeah. You go to their website. Yeah. Yeah, check that out. Yeah. All right, let's three. check out this third question. This is Antoinette from Richmond, California. 
in the 70s, black folks gave out their rights and royalties to TV shows and books and music. Are you getting any royalties for what's happening? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because they, they, they try to take it from you now. They'll do it like a try to get you a buyout, mm -hmm. and which means they'll give you a lump sum. But, man, that it pales into comparison to if you just waited over the years, what you'll get. Because so, in the 70s, they didn't have where you got residuals, did they? No, you had it. Okay. But, but it's always that fine print okay. where if you signed off on it. Now, then you then wouldn't you get, get your yeah. residuals. And what's happening now, some of the actors did sign it. And yeah. they don't get from yeah. what's happening now because okay. of that. But I had a great lawyer, God rest his soul, mm -hmm. Jer Jer Jerome Weinstein. And he made sure that his, he called me his son that I got paid. All, All right. right. Let's go to the last question, Shana. Okay, last question. Hi, my name is Donnie. And I'm from Daly City, California. Uh, I'd like to let you know that what's happening and what happened, what's happening now was two of my favorite television shows of all time. Uh, in the 70s, you played in a movie with Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. I believe it was uh, a piece of the action. I'd just like to know how it felt to work with those two great actors. Oh, man. All right. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah man. Working with Sidney Poitier, you know, I, I, I still am in awe of Sidney. I, I, I'm intimidated by his 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 the magnitude of his talent and his, he's such a classy man and a mm -hmm. good person too. And make great so, movies. And yeah. great movies. Yeah. Yeah. Great you know? Yeah. So watching him all these mm -hmm. years, you know, and then to see him and where he chooses me, mm -hmm. you know, he asked me to be in Peace of the Act. No audition. Wow. Yeah, he said, Well I said, Well I'm I'm on hiatus. He said, well, you, know, you don't want to be in my movie? I said, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, yeah, you said it for you. He said, well, well just read. <coughs> I read it. I did read. Okay. I read for him. But he had watched what's happening. And to prove to me he had watched what's happening, he actually demonstrated what I had done in the scene. So that's why I knew he had watched what's happening. So okay. with him, Bill Cosby, James Earl Jones... Yeah. You've worked with a lot of legendary actors. Yeah. You know, you yeah. worked with um, in Malcolm X, directed by Spike Lee. Yeah, the great Spike Lee shows mm -hmm. me, Denzel. Uh, what, and then, what was that experience like working with Denzel Washington, oh man, Angela awesome. Bassett? Denzel is awesome. He's awesome as an actor and mm -hmm. as a human being. I'm not friends with him, but mm -hmm. just on that set, you know, he was just a great person. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was very open to you and accessible mm -hmm. to you. And that was such a powerful movie. Powerful yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah, another one was powerful was Roots. You co starred in Roots which was one of the most watched oh. series at that time. Yeah. What was that experience like, I mean, as far as being in that character and that setting, that show? Well, that was something, you know, I, I was crying because I didn't get the role because it was between LeVar and I, you know. Okay. And LeVar, God bless him, he was on Arsenio and he did admit that. I didn't think he would. But it was... <laughs> 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 and I thought was shorty. So, but anyway. <laughs> But it was between he and I, mm -hmm. and uh, so I mean, everyone is saying it on. So uh, the the writer Cho, mm -hmm. the writer wanted him. The director wanted me. It was okay. from England at the time, and um, so it, but so out of constellation, they they thought my 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 uh, screen test was so great, mm -hmm. they created a role for you for okay. me. So they, they wanted him, but they also brought you on. Just up. just so I could okay. be in it, because I was so devastated. Yeah. I never, that was the only time I cried. Even though I had what's happening, I wanted to be cool yeah. to get <laughs> Greedy. I got greedy. Right. From 2005 to 2009, you actually had a recurring role on Everybody Hates Chris. Yes. So God bless you, Chris. <laughs> Ali Lamar. Yes, Lord Jesus. So how did that feel coming back to primetime television? He was awesome. I, I couldn't believe him. I, I thought he was lying. You know, I'm gonna look out for you, you know. And they really did. Ali Leroy and Chris mm -hmm. Rock and Ali is a great writer, you know, and uh and they and, and that Mr. Omar has taken off for the young kids. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about everywhere I go, white, Asian, Latin, Latino, whatever, they they love Mr. Omar <laughs> in England and he's more popular over in Europe. I get stuff from Brazil and Spanish, like wow. ninety thousand hits, and, and, and I mean they they and they it's in the Spanish language, uh -huh. so they, they even want me to come over there and do the Mardi Gras. So God give me this second wind wow. yeah. of a whole new generation mm -hmm. that don't know nothing about what's happening, 
and this is Omar, you know, who's a little lecherous, a little right. <laughs> sucker. You know yeah, so you, you get love every time you hit this. The film, I'm you get so, love no matter so, what it is. No matter what it yeah. is. Now we have some little fun giveaways. Oh. From the Spillet yeah. Show. Some nice Spillet oh. glasses. Oh, so yeah, you, you got to put those on. <laughs> and then we also have a Spillet water bottle. I work, I work oh, yeah, yeah, So this is for you. And we're going to get, we're going to make sure we give your mother one too. Oh, thank you. You got to put mine on. Oh, I got to put mine on. Oh, so I have <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so, um, so I got a question now. Okay, let me You know what? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you know, you need to be in one of our alter egos. For the spiritual, oh, yeah. we always do alter yeah, egos, right. and you will be perfect for okay. it. So, yeah. And we got to get on top of that. Yeah, right, right. We got to get on top of that. Alter ego. Alter ego. All right. <laughs> so, we had one word to describe Ernest Thomas. Yeah. One word that just puts you in one character. Uh -huh. What would it be? Sincere. Oh, I like, okay, sincere. No matter what it is, you're a sincere person. No matter what. Okay. No matter what. Well, we want to thank you so much for the honor and pleasure to oh, talk with you today. Thank you, darling. Yes. Thank it you, was, our, I mean, it was when I got the call that I was going to, you know, be interviewing I'm like, hey, I'm down. I don't care what I'm doing. <laughs> no matter what I'm doing, I'll be there. Thank so you. it was my pleasure. We absolutely appreciate it. Thank you very it's much. It's one of the best interviews, really. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank Honestly, you. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you got stuff out and got up memories. I thought senior moments would happen, but it didn't. So mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, we thank want to make sure we got people, you know, what they want to hear. That's all we got there. No, really. I love that. Yeah. That was I, I never had that done before. Cool. Mm -hmm. That was a nice, yeah. That was nice. All right, y'all got it going on. Well, much success. God bless you. Thank you. You know, to be just huge, you know, and spread this goodness that you're mm -hmm. doing and get all the top celebrities. Mm -hmm. I pray yeah. that. Jesus. Yeah, name. put that in. Amen. 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 <laughs> all right, you guys, you had it here at Spirit Show. We have my man Ernest Thomas. We'll be back with you soon. Thanks for watching. Wow, that was such an inspiring story by such a talented man. Yeah, I'm inspired. I mean, we spoke things to the atmosphere. I'm really excited about my career now. But look, we want to hear what you guys think. So make sure you email us at spillershow at yahoo.com. And we want to thank all the fans for their video responses. So we want to thank you for watching again. Make sure you stay tuned for more Spiller exclusives only at spillershow.com.